The following report contains some disturbing images. This afternoon, Egypt's security forces stormed their way into Cairo's Fatih Mosque. They wanted to take back every piece of ground occupied by their enemies. Officers used tear gas to force out the Islamist protesters hiding inside the building. BBC Arabic filmed these shots during the offensive. It's not clear who was firing. This is how it began. Overnight, Islamist demonstrators fled into the mosque after yesterday's clashes. Into the morning, the building became their refuge and fortress. From what we understand, there are still people inside that mosque. They've been there all night and they're now surrounded by the riot police. Minutes later, we heard gunshots. We had to leave. Elsewhere in Egypt, we're now learning more about the extent of yesterday's fighting. These pictures are said to have been filmed in the northeastern city of Ismailia. We can't verify them independently, but checks suggest that they are genuine. A man in a grey t-shirt approaches the tanks with his arms extended. He stops. We'll freeze the pictures here. The man is shot and he falls to the ground. We're not sure if he survived. The residents of Cairo's Aguza neighborhood have watched the battles on TV. Their streets are calm. Many here support the military. Omaima Mahmoud runs a clothes shop. There's destruction and shooting and people are dying everywhere. The curfew will protect people. In the past, we could live safely. All the terrorists were hiding, thanks to Mubarak. The Brotherhood, marching here in Cairo yesterday, was banned during the Mubarak years. Egypt's new authorities appear to share the Mubarak-era view. Six weeks ago, they deposed the Islamist president, Mohamed Morsi. Now, the government says it's considering outlawing the Brotherhood once more. La Musalaha. There will be no reconciliation with those whose hands are covered in blood. There can be no reconciliation for anyone who has raised arms against the country, against its people. And tonight in Alexandria, the army enforces its curfew. The Egyptian state is keeping its soldiers on the streets. Its aim now appears to be clear. The defeat of the Muslim Brotherhood. James Reynolds, BBC News, Cairo.